Um, yeah, let's play this one. So have you heard about Destiny? Destiny shared an update regarding his um, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, I'm assuming now, Melina. And allegedly she contacted him asking him for money. Can you imagine that? Imagine your wife asking for a divorce because she's felt fallen in love with a guy that she was in a relationship because you got an open relationship. And then she comes to you asking you for money. <laughs> Yo, oh God almighty. You got to love some people's fucking, the balls some people have is fucking impressive. Let's, let's play this clip. Yeah, so basically, uh, Melina reaches out to me. We have a call, and she basically tells me. Yeah, so basically, uh, Melina reaches out to me. We have a call, and she basically tells me that I owe her for money for her apartment. And that I, like, if I want to do what's moral, because I made her leave the United States and pay to fly all of her shit back, that I should pay her like $100,000. And I'm like, you're out of your mind. Um, and the way that this conversation starts is... And the, this is the funniest thing. Initially, she like sent this message through a mutual, and then I responded back, and I was like, "Oh no, like maybe you know, maybe Tim can get a job, and you guys can you know work for this money. You, you know, good luck." Uh, I was very passive aggressive. I admit that. I, that was a, I sent a really nasty message uh, when she asked me for that. <laughs> Just to be clear, it was like, "Hey, remember you told me you don't care about the money, you don't care about my help, you don't care about me doing taxes, you don't care about any of that. All you want is somebody to cuddle with you for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, there you go. I got it. Good luck." Figure it out. I'm sure you guys will. Power of love will, you know, help you with your uh, paperwork. <laughs> that's 100%, funny. 100%. Okay. Because that's the only thing that matters. Remember, it's the only thing that matters in life. Um, I was super passive aggressive in that message. But then He's still in love with her, isn't it? You can tell. He's still fucking in love with her. If she, if she says she wants to come back to him, he'd take her back. When the call starts, Melina's like, uh, this call starts, she's like, I just want to know where you're at. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I want to know where you're at because that message you sent two weeks ago. And I'm like, well, I'm at the message that I sent one hour ago. And yeah, we argue for a bit about this. And then it's just like a 40 minute call of, and now that I'm like, now that I've like grown into like Neo when it comes to our relationship, now I can see like every single lie and every single like pivot and every single attempt, like every single thing I'm like, uh, well, do you have a log for that? Or can you prove that? Or can you show that this happened? Because I have a whole bunch of stuff that says, the exact opposite. And it was just like lie after lie after lie. For things that I've let her lie about in our entire relationship that drive me insane. Um, yeah, and it felt good. It felt good to pick the bullets out of the air. Um, again, I'm not gonna like dive into like everything, but I'll say for instance, one thing, cause this was kind of public already. Um, something that I've said about Melina is that uh, Melina um, emotionally rewrites everything. So for instance- Okay, don't care about the details, but essentially she asked for some money. I guess he said no. Um, at the crux of this, I think it just needs to be more of a, again, because I'm, I'm always going to be an extreme ownership type of dude. And as much as that girl is very, um, you know, she's very, she, has, she, seems like, she seems like she could be very annoying. <laughs> Let's say that. I'm always going to be an extreme ownership type of guy. And I'm always going to say men should always lead, right? You should always be the calming, chill influence and shit. And I just feel like he could have read this girl early from before. I don't think she's that clever to manipulate him entirely personality wise. I'm sure there were signs of who she actually was before they got married, but he ignored them because he loved her and it is what it is. But you have to take some responsibility that yourself. The fact that you let yourself get duped or you let yourself get harangued by a lady like that is kind of on you a little bit. And you have to take some lessons from it, some very harsh lessons for the future. But I think in general, what this kind of speaks to I think, which is really odd and a strange little kind of microcosm of society in general, are these very popular streamers, especially dudes, who don't really have a lot of experience with women, but also become incredibly successful. And then the women, because they're fucking way more mature than dudes for the most part, they can sniff these motherfuckers out from miles and fucking miles. And for the most part, once they get their fucking claws in them, it's a wrap. So, in my opinion, because I like to operate in the world as is, not as I want it to be, I would prefer it to see these guys make a lot more effort in trying to build themselves from the inside as people, as men, to understand their value, to understand who they are, understand what they like, what they don't like, so that they can avoid these people when they're coming at them. Because they're always going to come. They're always going to be there, right? They're always going to be there. You're never going to get rid of that kind of opportunistic 
manipulative, conniving person. In a man or a woman, those archetypes always exist. Those personality traits always exist. You just have to figure out a way to combat them and to know how to notice them, you know, and fucking duck that shit because they're always going to come around. But I just think, as just an observer from afar, because I don't know much about Destiny, I don't know much about Melina, so I'm not going to dive too much deep into their personal history. I don't know jack about that. But just looking at it from the outside in, it is very interesting to see guys who didn't get girls when they were growing up who don't have much experience with girls now being in a position where they can literally get who they want. It's a very, very dangerous power to have and you can exploit it or you can get exploited. It can go to both ways. And the, the fucking, you know, the effects of it are very destructive both ways. <laughs> you know, that's the really sad thing about it. So you have to be really kind of on your shit and figure stuff out quickly because if not, before you realize it, you're in the marriage. Before that, time has gone by. Before that, you're divorced. And they have to split everything 50-50. Um, that's the crazy part about it. So um, I'm actually surprised, though, looking at reading. I don't know what's going on. If they were... I, I remember reading somewhere that they got married in LA or something. If that's the case, or they got married in a state where the, you know, where the alimony laws are quite favorable to women, I'm surprised she's even going down this route of asking him for money. Because if she wants... If they go through it properly, through the courts, she could get a lot of money anyway. Because they were, they were together for a number of years. So I'm surprised she's going that way. Maybe that's indicative of like their relationship. And maybe they didn't actually get officially married. Maybe they didn't get married in a state where the alimony laws are favorable. To, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. But I was just surprised that she would do that. Because, you know, if you go through the courts, you can actually get more money than what you're asking for. You'd imagine. Because they're going to try to give you everything that you're actually owed, um, you know, by law. So let's see how that works out. But yeah, I find it fascinating, though. These guys that like how do you and it's even more fascinating with people like this because they're intelligent like a destiny so even though you don't have a lot of experience with women you feel like your intelligence can make up for it your smarts but actually that doesn't really count in it like because the the dumbest birds in the world could have these guys wrapped around their fingers and they do it right there's plenty of these younger girls who are like you know they it's questionable if they finished high school and they're fucking wrapping these guys around their fingers with fucking ease. So, you know, it's proof that, you know, an education doesn't actually <laughs> count for much in the fucking streets. It doesn't fucking count for much. But hey, what do I know? What do I know?